Ooh, what is up, everyone on YouTube? This is Very Melon Man, and welcome to part 37 of my Yaksa 5 Remastered Let's Play. And we are finally back in Kamurocha after long last, after what feels like forever. <laughs> you read this real forever. I like the other cities, but nothing really beats the sheer continuity of Kamurocho. Only Soten Bori really gets close. Even then, Sotenbori is still not quite Kamurocho. That's just the way it is. So what are we doing here? What we're doing here is that we are... We are. We're about to catch up to Sosuke Komaki as he finally reunites with his grandfather. Right there. Remember, the only way to do this is complete all of Sosuke Komaki's training in Nagoya. And then, you have to pay 30,000 yen to get Sosuke to Kamurocho. And yeah, this is the Dragon Palace, so we can do your gambling to your heart's content here. Speaking about continuity, one of the reasons I really like Komaki coming back in every game is seeing his relationship and companionship with Kiryu evolving alongside the times. Now that they're standing side by side, you can see how Sosuke's design is inspired by Komaki's. Yeah, of course it did, you punk. Boy, you really don't get what martial arts are about, do you? I can't wait for you to get beat down, so scared. While we're here, let's go and um, check in on Kamiyama. Yeah, whenever you get to one of the other cities with the character, they can fast travel back to their um, original city. So, Kiryu can go back to Nagoya, Akiyama and Haruka to Sotenbori, and so on. 
And the reason I want to do this is to show you guys um, where the OG Kamiyama sibling has been hiding all game. You can play side quest in Nagoya, where you have to save him from some thugs. After that, he unlocks his shop. And we do mean he unlocks his shop, because all throughout the game, in the other vans, we've been seeing his assistant, but not the original dude. And we can craft a bunch of stuff. So let me show you what you need to do here. Spicy knife. You need to buy a nameless short sword. Then, to make a Chinese broadsword, you need to use the spicy knife. After that, you need to use the Chinese broadsword to make a Lotus Clan Chinese saber. Finally, you need the Lotus Clan Chinese saber to make the Divine Dragon short sword. Now, as you can see, we're pretty much stacked, so we can do that no problem. But, um, as you can imagine, remember, the lower your weapon XP, the more of these stars are going to be grayed out for you. Look at the Golden Dragon Bat. We can fill out 5 of the 10 Golden Stars, meaning that our two-handed weapon skill is at 5 out of 10. We need level 10 weapon skill to use the Golden Dragon Bat. But, with the Divine Dragon's Short Sword, we can just straight up use it right now. Because I went out of my way to invest and upgrade Kiryu's um, knife skill. There's also things like this. Dragon shirt. Resistance to fire, school shock, blinding, and knockouts. But we need Yakuza train gear for it first. And that's what's cost us another 1,700, another 1,700, um, thousand yen. But it's worth it. Higher level weapons have more weapon durability. And of course, since you need max level dagger skill in order to use the Divine Dragon's short sword. It's just better to get a bunch of um, high-level weapons and use those instead of depending on crafting and recrafting the top-tier weapons over and over again. Now, hopefully, enough time has passed for us to be able to go back and see how grandson and grandfather are doing. Oh. 
yes. Of course, this is the only option left. Ah, bullying. Got it. Oh, so he heard it all. Okay, cool. Yeah, he did. Because you kind of were the entire time. True, true. All right, let's play some air hockey to waste our time. You should already be familiar with air hockey from watching my um, my attempt at playing air hockey with Haruka earlier in the Let's Play. L2 to look at the <laughs> the bosom of your opponent. And yes, Haruka could have done the same thing during her uh, match against that teen idol as well. The reason to do it is to increase your heat. Hmm. <laughs> 
Women are programmed to slowly reveal more skin the higher your score is in um, the game. Or rather, the longer the game itself goes on. And we have Max Heat. You can do that. Get an automatic goal. I gotta say, air hockey as a, as a game is pretty addictive, no matter if you're playing it virtually or in real life. I actually don't mind the fact that that happens sometimes because it's actually still a really fun mechanic. Like, I get the idea behind it, and aside from the cleavage flashing stuff, it's a fun minigame. And I don't particularly care about the cleavage flashing either, it's... It's not really something to comment on, either way. Now we can wrap this up. Of course, Lady can counter, but that just means when we get the counter back, it's more interesting to uh, view our victory. So let's get you back. Nice. Of course it is. Enjoy your big mouth, but just aim it in the better directions. So stay. Advanced form the Kamaki tie drop. Okay. Oh, right. This is the final... This is technically the final training technique that's, uh, that Sosuke will give you. Max Kamaki Tiger Drop. Increases the parry window for which you can use the Kamaki Tiger Drop.
But now we've come to the reason this video is titled after Sotoro Komaki specifically. So basically, if Kiryu learns this, it will explain why he can canonically keep kicking butt well into his 50s. And if you know of another who needs to master my secrets, I'd be happy to help. Which is how the other playable characters are going to be able to do what Kiryu is going to be doing in this video. Oh, and Sosuke will pay you back the money. I mean, you're not wrong. Like, Shinada can make 30,000 yen pretty easy in his part just by doing coaching racing. And there's also some of the fact that you can fish for marlins and other really expensive fish in general. And you can just buy more cheap bait turning fish for profit. Sosie's not wrong when he says that making that much money is pretty easy. Oh. Mm. So I have to hit level 20 first. So it was a long grind with the Yakuza training gear equipped, but we got to level 20. Yeah, let's get it. We're level 20, so let's do this. Yeah, try to beat you. That's it. I am gonna expect that. Right. Get stronger by being someone who's stronger than you. I understand that. So fighting two dudes who are technically stronger than Kiryu will do it. Let's do this. Double Komaki Bow. Let's rock. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> 
how you gonna. That's how you wanna play it. Yeah. What else could I honestly do against two people who could do that to me over and over again? <laughs> I couldn't even use my heat moves, so it was exactly... It was the only to even the odds. We experienced a breakthrough. Breakthrough has improved the little cat, now progressive level 25, and also acquired new skills. Alright. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Jesus Christ. Boost amount of heat count, heat gauge rise from attacking, increase health gauge. So, alright. How exactly do we get So that's pretty much to be it for this video. If you guys liked this video, leave a like and subscribe and see you next time when we resume the story of Cosmic Kiryu proper. Stay tuned.